What is going on guys, Brethren here, and I got a little bit more information regarding the TU9 update for you guys. 4J Studios uh, has been tweeting here and there throughout the week some of the new bug fix changes as well as some of the newer additions that they are going to be adding to the TU9 update. So jumping right into it guys, they have now added a nether reset option. This pretty much enables you to reset your nether without having to actually reset your world or your overworld or anything like that, uh, which is a good option guys. This pretty much ensures that uh, you can now get blaze spawners, the actual nether fortress as well as nether warts and all that good stuff. But anyways guys, moving right along, they have also fixed the issue with fireballs sometimes actually freezing people's game whenever they uh, were entering the nether. I'm assuming these fireballs were coming from gas or either uh, blazes or uh, something like that. So anyways, that's fixed guys and uh, hopefully won't have any more issues with that. But uh, moving right along, they have also fixed the glitch for uh, the ender pearl if you actually were to throw it and then exit out of the game and before the ender pearl actually had a chance to hit the ground uh, it sometimes it would actually crash your game or freeze your game so that they have fixed that in the TU9 as well and of course guys last but not least mobs will actually spawn if you launch a spawn egg from a dispenser which will be pretty sweet guys this will be great for adventure maps or custom map building and things like that as well as you can also uh, shoot fire charges from a dispenser too so I guess that's their way of saying that uh, fire charges are going to be in the TU9 update. If you guys don't know what a fire charge is, basically what it is, is it's a substitute for like a flint and steel. And um, when actually shot out of a dispenser, it's pretty much like a blaze uh, fireball or a gas fireball. And it'll uh, hurt mobs as well as uh, it'll hurt your friends or whatever you want to do with it. It's basically like a booby trap, which is pretty sweet. Anyways, guys, you can actually craft these by using blaze powder, a piece of coal or charcoal, and a piece of gunpowder, and it'll make three of these bad boys. Hopefully, they actually will be uh, adding the tripwire to the T9 as well, so we can make some booby traps with this, as well as, uh, you know, with the spawn eggs and all that. That'll be really sweet as well. So, anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay updated with the latest Minecraft Xbox 360 news, as well as other Let's Plays and things like that. And, uh, of course, guys, Guys, if you did enjoy the video, a like is always appreciated, and I will see your faces in the next video. Thanks for watching, and peace out, guys.